All right, there was actually a couple steps I skipped on uh, rooting the droid axe, so we're going to go again. Okay, how to root the droid axe. Um, first thing you want to do is turn on USB debugging. To do that, just go click on uh, Menu, Settings, Applications, uh, Development, and then make sure USB debugging is turned on. Okay. Once you have that, um, the link I provided is a zip file. Extract it, and you're going to see two folders in a file in there right click on the SDK, select copy, open up at this time, you can just open up a uh, commands.txt, just minimize it for right now. What you want to do is you're going to go inside your my computer, local disk C, and then you're going to paste it here. So right click on here and go to paste. Uh, I already have a folder in this, so I'm just going to override it. You're not going to run into this issue, so don't worry about this part. Let me just check this out. Once you do that, open up SDK, go to SDK Setup, hit Yes. If you have Windows 7 or Windows Vista, it's going to ask you for permission. That's what it just did. Hit Close here, Accept, Cancel, and then just hit uh, X. Okay. Once you do that, go back into that uh, the Droid or uh, into this folder, the Droid X underscore root, and then go inside the Droid X underscore drivers. Select up here and copy this path. So right click on it, go to copy, just exit that. Once you do that, uh, make sure you have your USB cable and then connect it directly to the to the phone. So okay. once you do that, right click on my computer. Go to properties. If it starts in, if it starts saying down here, oh, installing um, drivers, that's fine. Go to device manager, and you're going to see an option up here called Android Phone. Okay. Click on the little arrow right next to it to expand it. If it's down here because the drivers haven't been installed, then just whatever, just find this file, this Android. May right click on it. Go to update. Select browse my computer for driver software, and this is where you're going to uh, paste that path that I told you to copy not so long ago. Hit next. There you go. Uh, best try. It's going to actually, since I already had it on there, actually let me uninstall it real quick and I'll show you what it would do. Delete driver. Okay. We right click on it, go to scan. See, it, it's, it should have said something like that, a little bubble should have appeared. And then once it installs it, right click on it. Update. This is exactly what I'm just doing again. Just make sure the path is on there correctly. Hit next. And I actually should have said something like this. Um, that the driver wasn't signed. Uh, that's fine. Hit install. What that means, it's not a, it's not like certified by Microsoft. So if it crashes your computer or any of that stuff, like they don't take responsibility for any of that. Alright. Hit close here. Close that screen now. Okay, now what you want to do is go to start. If you're on Windows XP, you're going to type in, you're going to click on Run, and then you're going to type in CMD. If you're on Vista or Windows 7, you just type in CMD in that dialog box in the bottom. Then you go to CD SDK, CD Tools, and then you're going to type in ADB Shell. ADB Shell. Just to make sure it turns on. Okay, just hit Control C for right now. Okay, what you want to do is type in 1.bat. What this is going to do, it's uh, similar to the 10 minute root video, it's going to push all the files onto the SD card. Once you do that, go back into ADB shell. You can hit um, the up arrow uh, twice to recall like your previous commands, so ADB shell. This is where you're going to open up that TXT file that, that I told you to open up earlier. And then just copy all these commands that are up here. So you re we already typed in ADB shell, which is the first command, so now just copy the second command, paste. And then this command is actually going to change the permissions of a file called exploit in the, well, yeah, <laughs> it's in that directory that I just pointed out. Um, what you want to do now is on the phone, go have one of these widgets open, either the Wi-Fi or the Bluetooth, okay? What you're going to do is you're going to copy dot uh, forward slash exploit. You're going to paste it on here, but you're not going to execute it yet. 
what you're going to do is hit the turn on Bluetooth using one of these widgets, either this one or the power widget from Android. Click on it and then as quickly as you can hit enter. So we're going to do that real quick. There you go. Once you do that, you're going to type in root shell. So I can actually type that in. It's not that long. Root shell. It's going to ask you for a password. The password is secret. Okay, so secret, LOL. One word, no underscore, no space. And it should give you root. There you go. You see the pound symbol? That means it gave you root access now. Now just continue uh, following the rest of my instructions. Paste. What this is going to do, it's going to copy both super user and SU from your SD card and push it to the system bin folders. And now this one's going to copy BusyBox. And that's going to push it from the SD card. And then chmod, chmod is just a change of permissions. So that actually what that's what grants uh what well gives you access to change permissions like allow something to be read, allow something to be read by uh, the administrator, by a user, by a group. It also does um like it allows you to execute. What you want to do now is this rm command, rm system bin root shell. What that's going to do, it's going to remove that that file from your uh, from your phone because. Well, then everybody's going to know that password's secret um, LL, so you don't want your phone to be hacked later on. So remove that, and then just type in escape, exit, exit, and you should be done. Okay, once you do that, on your phone, let's open this little thing up. You should see a super user. There it is, super user. What I want to do also is I want to install Wi-Fi tethering. So open that up and look at there you go. There's Wi-Fi tethering. Uh, there, sh there should only be one of these. So just click on it. Open App Manager. Hit Install. When you ran that one.bat file, it actually pushed these files onto your phone. So if you're wondering where they came from, that's where. That's the step that your files got pushed. Just hit Unknown Sources. Make sure that's checked. Let's try that again. Open File Manager. Install. Install. We can disconnect them at this time. Wow. Ah. <laughs> Open. Close. As soon as we click on it, it should ask you for super user permissions. Allow. And there you go. It's make sure, uh, stop it real quick. Allow it again. And it should work. That's Wi-Fi tethering. So, I haven't really pushed the limits on this, but I actually went to Best Buy and I was able to get three iPads running on just one connection. So, I don't know if the limit's five, three, or eight, but I know you can do more than one device. Also, if you want to remove root, currently there is no method to remove it, or at least not that I'm aware of. If you go to Privacy and you go to Factory Data uh, Reset, it's not going to delete Super User. So, those permissions are still going to stay intact. Okay, just word of wise. All right, uh, thank you for following my video. Uh, follow me on Twitter um, at D-I-E-G-O-A-M-E-J-I-A. -E -E thank you. Thank you for watching.